I see you, Dan. What's up, brother? Welcome back. Give me a hell hey, man. Up. How you doing? Excellent. Good to see you, buddy. I apologize ahead of time, as I feel like you guys are the most rescheduled band in the history of local band Smokeout, and I apologize. I feel like we we something happened, and then we rescheduled you, and then I had a baby, so we rescheduled you again. But here we are today, and I appreciate you coming back, brother. How have you been? Good, man. Yeah, real good. How about you? Congratulations on the baby, hey. Thank you. A lot of sleepless nights lately, but we power through. <laughs> so uh, you're <laughs> back today, I much, think... Man. I think you're back here today to promote Take My Hand, uh, as well as talk about some other stuff you guys got, have going on. But uh, specifically, let's talk about Take My Hand. W what does this particular oh, yeah. record uh, mean to you? We actually we actually wrote and uh, recorded this song at the same time that we did Paper Skies. Um, this song has actually been one that's sort of been in the works for a while. It's actually... Oh, is that Terry? That's, that's Terry. Oh, I'll wait for Terry. Terry might be the better one to tell you about it. Terry, you got to turn on. Uh, I, I don't think he's familiar with Teams. Usually, when people have never used Teams before, it just defaults with their camera and mic off. So you just have to <laughs> change in the settings. I'll flick him a message. I'll let him know. <laughs> he'll, he'll figure it out in just a second. But uh, there he is, yeah. Terry in the building. Hell yeah. Terry, unmute, yeah, unmute then... your mic if you can. Unmute your mic if you can, sir. Your microphone's uh, muted, brother. Hello. There he is. <laughs> I wasn't even saying anything. <laughs> Terry, we have not had the privilege of chatting with you, brother. I appreciate you uh, joining us on the show today. I was just telling Dan, I apologize of the multiple reschedules that have occurred, but uh, we're here. You're on the show. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to relay the question to you, sir. What does take my hand mean, and why did you write this record? Is that two sentences or three? Uh, it was good. It was counting. Oh. Fair enough. I mean, it works. It works two to three. But uh, in, in the video, do you guys usually it's, use the same video director? As far as like the same one that uh, was, did Paper Skies? Or do you, do you kind of jump around with different video directors? A little bit of like, um, mm -hmm. we, we, we've jumped around actually quite a bit. Some of the tracks in the past and even uh, uh, Shivers, we have done ourselves. Um, Paper Skies was uh, filmed by our producer who actually recorded Take My Hand, Shivers, and uh, Paper Skies. But uh, this one, we, we've we never had a lyric video like this before. This one's actually all new. Our good friends in Breakaway had actually suggested um, hitting this company up. They've done some of uh, some work with them as well in the past. So we did it. And they were, yeah, fantastic. So, yeah, really, really happy with how it's turned out. Terry, I'm going to throw you a compliment, but it's gonna—it's not going to sound like a compliment, but it is 100% a compliment. I feel like of all the people I've interviewed, you have the visual look of someone that when you open your, your mouth and your voice comes out, you don't sound like what you look like. Now, I mean that in a nice way. Your voice is absolutely beautiful, brother. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Um, <laughs> I, I know that came out weird, but it's it's a couple. Sound a bit American. Is that what you get, or do you get something else? Um, I you don't know. You, if... sound, you sound like a girl, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like high pitched singers, and you have a very a great high pitched voice. Chat before we play. Uh, take my hand. Chat wants me to know if you guys are going to be able to make the Devil Skin These Four Walls tour. Are you going to be able to attend that? Ooh. Oh, I actually haven't seen that yet. These four walls are sick. We played with them a while back at uh, Eaton's Hill uh, with Skillet. Yeah, that's something we'll definitely be interested in, for sure. Hell yeah. Let's jam Take My Hand, then we'll have a little fun. Terry, do you have any Do you have any unusual vocal warm-up tips or tricks? Or is there anything that you do odd that you find that other vocalists don't do that you do to warm up? I reckon I do. I drive with the windows down before recording. No air con. <laughs> just breathe in that fresh air and i actually don't really sing i make sure i like i chat with everyone i can in that hour like if it's the boys before recording nice i, I want to be the center of attention i want to do all the talking so it's actually less like 
la, 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 la. It's more like, hey, Daniel, I'm going to tell you about my whole week. Shut up and listen. So that's how I'm going to warm up my vocals. <laughs> so there's no hot tea, no no lemons in the tea, nothing like that. Just just blabbing to to get to get the the vibes and the juices flowing, and then hit the stage 100. I love it. That's maybe awesome. Early days, maybe early days was lemon and tea and stuff, but I found that works more for me in a in a, a better way these last probably three or four years. Just is there, is there anything now. you do post show? to to make sure that you're ready to go for the next day oh if 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 we have another show backed up on the next day or the or early that week or something uh that's more typical that's more boring stuff like get on the water as soon as i get home get straight to bed no more you know staying up late playing video games all night just to get myself ready for that. that's a bit more boring <laughs> what are you gaming all night what video game keeps you up where your your family's like bro you got to come uh, to bed and you're just like wait wait wait, wait. Ten, 10 more minutes like this i'm really far in this oh, game about the I final boss. the answer i guarantee i know it's going to be terry <laughs> there's a couple but the top top one is rocket league at the moment yep. rocket yeah, league got it on my switch and it's hard to put it down yeah I wasn't expecting that. I played Rocket League a couple times. It is pretty fun, but I, I was not expecting that one. Now, Dan, since the last time we've chatted, uh, what what has occurred in the band that that you guys have done as far as like leveling up, working on this, working on new music, maybe some some mini run tour stuff? What can you tell us that you guys have lined up coming up? Dude, we just had the coolest headline show ever. Um, we it was th like to put it. In perspective, we had actually booked a tour a couple of years back before COVID uh, sort of cancelled it, and all the venues said yes, we'd as cancel it. We'll uh, we'll do it another time. But one venue said, no, nah, you're uh, you're locked in. You're rescheduling." So we had to, we ended up rescheduling a few times. But it'd been so long since we played music that we said we're going to go all out. We're going to spend the money. So we hired, you know, these crazy lights and smoke cannons and all sorts of crazy things, massive visual effects and. It was so much fun, hey! Holy crap! Who was it? Who was the uh, the the show with? So we had uh, we've never played with her before. She's actually an awesome musician. Her name's India Dupree's. She's a Gold Coast based um, pop singer, and she's amazing, amazing. Hell yeah! Yeah, really, really cool. Terry, what's... other than that, come... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dan. I didn't mean to sorry, you go. No, no, no. You go, girl. I I'd rather you speak, sir. This is this is your time to shine. Yeah, other than that, we've got we've just booked in a show on the Gold Coast. We'll keep it a secret as to what it is, but it'll get announced announced pretty soon. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be really really cool. So stay posted for that. Terry, you look like you're outside of a pub or something. Where where are you exactly at right now? No, I'm actually I'm actually at the mother-in-law's house. Easter, we just did a big Easter hunt. I'm feeling a bit crook. Found lots of chocolate. It was actually more for the kids, but I got in there. Excellent. I ate my. <laughs> 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 hell yeah i i think to this day paper skies is still my favorite i do want to play it um but i want to i want to ask terry terry what's what's uh what's an artist that made you want to become a vocalist like let's rewind to you're 13 years old however old you are and you're like man when you you heard this artist and you're like i want to do that i want to be a singer who is someone that made you become who you are I can pinpoint the the day and the album and the song exactly. So we're at high school and we had to do a music report. We had to pick a band. I was like, oh man, I better go buy a CD because I wasn't really, you know, someone who was at having access of these, you know, having access of CDs and, and cassettes and things like that when I was at high school. I was like, mom, I need to go buy a CD. And I bought Powderfinger and um, I fell in love with the band and it was my happiness that I did a report on and, I heard a lot of the girls, and I was like, yeah, I want that too. I want to be a vocalist. <laughs> I'm, I've and never like, even heard of oh, that man, band. Like, Powder Finger? That was the name of them? Yeah, right. It's really? A, yeah. I'm going to have to look this up. Hold they on one second. Like, um, they, they probably wrapped, their, wrapped, wrapped it all up about, what was that, five years ago, I think? But um, very successful Aussie band and great, great rock tones. And then from then on in, it was like musicals. I was joining musicals, joining the school band. This is them right here on the screen, Powderfinger. Yeah, yep. 
Okay, I want to I want to play it after Paper Skies. I want to see. I want. I gotta hear what influences Terra. I gotta hear. But Paper Skies has always uh, always been my favorite of you guys. It it wouldn't be proper if I didn't at least play this jam. I feel like I may have asked this last time, but uh, do you do you find any being that you guys are a trio? Is there any form of you're being held back. I don't mean it in disrespectfully, but is there any, do you find that there's certain times where you're like, man, if we only had a fourth and fifth member, we could do this number a little bit different, a little bit better. Or do you prefer the fact that you keep it, you keep it 100 with just the three of you guys? Like, Dude, it is so good being a three piece. Hey, Tez. It's totally got its ups and downs. I think, I think for us, because we've learned that we can work together so well and so swiftly and make good decisions, quick decisions, we do more stuff, but when it comes to missing members, yeah, I love the big bands. That's that's like why we started it. So it is the, they're those days where you're like, oh, I wish we could fill out a stage more, but we can't. But you know, it's got its ups and downs. It's got more room to you got more room to run around and do backflips and stuff like that. With <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, especially do, me. Does with I, the drum I, kit. I apologize. I don't recall uh, your guitar players. Uh, name, but does he have some kind of line out to cover the bass end of the music as far as like his his amp routing, or do you have like a backing track to give the oomph, like being that he's only playing guitar and there's not a bass guitar? We uh we backing track because we've got in our songs like some of the songs we've recorded have like five different guitar lines and heaps of different ambients and strings and pianos and we do a lot of intros and outros and stuff like that when we play live. So we yeah we backing track. Um, what we can't play ourselves fair enough yeah i'm sorry terry i didn't hear you i'm sorry oh no i was just i was just gonna jump in and just say he it takes a lot of practice though to run those backing tracks at practice and make sure the um the gaps are filled because yeah jesse does a lot with his guitar but there yeah there's only so much you can do with three piece so we definitely run that through practice a lot and go yeah yeah it sounds good sounds thick but anyway, we backing track yeah. the whole band. We we fake it every everything. <laughs> we don't, we don't even play. Let's talk worst gigs ever. Has there ever been a time when like the backing track fails, or for some reason Terry, you just cannot hear the drums, or you cannot hear Jesse's guitar? Give me the worst gig story ever. Oh, Daniel, do you know this one? I know this one. No. Which? What are you going to say? <laughs> <laughs> he already knows. I know this one. So we're at we're at Jesse's school, like just oh putting, yes, like just putting doing a show, and Daniel for the life of him could not get the backings working, but they would start and go for five seconds. So huge backings would start one, two, about five seconds worth of music, and it would just stop and sh it would just go blunt, like nothing, dead silence, and everyone's like, is this supposed to be happening? And Dude. Daniel gave it a good red hot three shots to get it. And I was just standing there like, ah, ready to sing my big beginning notes and just never came. Yeah. <laughs> so was that like a, was that like a Mac or PC thing on the fail? Or was it, what, what was the cause for the, why the tracks failed that night? I think it was the device. Um, yeah, this was, this is when we sort of were first starting out. So we went together, so maybe we were about together for about a year and dead set, nothing before it has ever gone wrong, nothing after it touched bloody wood has ever gone wrong since with the backings. But that one shot, and it was funny because there was hundreds and hundreds of people there watching as parents and students and all sorts. And Jesse was talking us up. Oh, we're so good, mate. We're, and then we just couldn't, this one song just wouldn't bloody work. It was oh, driving us mental. That is funny. Uh, I did. I believe I did ask you this, Dan, but I do want to play Shivers, which is an absolutely phenomenal cover. But how did you guys come up, come about to work with Valhalor? Oh man, we were so lucky. So we we hit Valhalor up. We saw that they were touring last year, and we had um, they were doing an acoustic run. So we hit them up and said, "Look, chuck us on what you can. This one we're free." Um, and we were lucky enough to get uh, the Brisbane and Sunshine Coast show. And it was the most fun I think we've had on stage in a long time. We had a lot of fun with the band, a lot of fun performing. Their fans are awesome. Venues were sick. We just had the best times. Um, and not long after that, we decided, hey, let's Ed Sheeran's just dropped a single. Let's be one of the first bands to cover it. And the band like, yeah, sweet as. So I hit up. I said, I'm going to hit up Lockie. And fingers crossed he he's keen. And he was. He was so excited. And he's like, yep, I'll do your um, – 
you know, I'll do a music video, I'll sing, I'll do whatever you want, I'll jump on stage and perform, let's do it. And it's we were just so lucky to have had Lockie jump on and it's made the song amazing. So lucky that he's, he, you know, he's such a cool dude. They all are. We love that, Helen. I'm going to play in a second, but is there is there a song that either you or Danny, you, or Dan or Terry, excuse me, that you guys fought for to do a cover on where the rest of the band, maybe Jesse was like, nah, dude, we're not f***ing doing that one. Like, is there a song that you fought we're, for that just everybody we're, else shot we're down? We're still doing that right now. <laughs> right now we're still, like, what, Terry, we're what song do you... I've, I've pre-produced a, um, a really, what I think is a really good cover of Coldplay's song, Yellow. And um it's actually like reverse so jesse's like yeah yeah, yeah sick let's do it and daniel's like i don't know there ain't many drums in this probably that's what he's thinking <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get it out one day someday it may see the light of day guys we're hanging out <laughs> with the lost knights if you're feeling it please hit the subscribe button please hit the bell support them this is their cover of shivers by Ed. so good uh, Dan, we've done this before regarding trivia but i do want to ask terry terry I'm, my job is to stump you so I'm going to ask you some trivia, but I want you to tell me what it's about. What is your strongest knowledge in either TV or film? You know more about this either TV show or film franchise. Harry Potter, Star Wars, South Park, Breaking Bad, Dexter. Your pick. What do you know the most about? You will not get this question wrong. <laughs> it's okay if you get it wrong. It's no big deal. But you could win a prize if you get it right. Let's go. Let's... Let's, uh, I've watched a few series lately, so let's go, oh, uh, no, let's go film. Let's try film. The Wiggles, bro, eh? The Wiggles? The Wiggles. <laughs> I don't even know what that is, but give me a second to look it up. <laughs> it pops right up. I got you. Hold on. Let's just start it off real quick. I, I have never seen the show. I've never even heard of it. What is the dinosaur's oh, name in The Wiggles? Dorothy. Dorothy? It's correct! Give me a hell yeah! Dorothy yes. is correct. While it's spinning, I'm going to jump over to you guys' Spotify real quick. Um, is, there, is there a song in your catalog that we've never played on this show that we just have to hear? Ooh. We're pretty, we're pretty average, man, so... Uh... <laughs> Stop it. Um, Stop it. I would say um, Dragons and Dreams is is probably uh, one of my favorites. And at the end, you can kind of hear us tasting into that, stepping into that paper sky zone just just by the little bit. Um, but yeah, that was that was earlier days. So that that album, Dragons and Dreams, was off, a, off an album called Home. But that's about five years old now. But you can hear us just slowly stepping into that zone where it gets. We lift up the rock ante a bit, so. I really like the artwork for it. Uh, so is 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 Dragons and Dreams in the current set, or is, it just, is that just like every now and then song you guys play? No, we play it quite regularly. We love Dragons and Dreams. Hey. Hell yeah, let's check it out. Terry, what is what is the hardest song for you to sing in your set? Uh, right now, it actually is Paper Skies. Because really? Because it's so demanding, like, just that that hook is like keep coming. like way up there. Oh, it, like three or four times it comes just, around. It does. It just keeps coming. Right when I think I've finished on the stage, I'm like, oh, we're not done yet, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Hell yeah. Ch Chad is saying, I need to ask you some Simpsons trivia. Do you know oh, anything about, yeah. you know some stuff about the Simpsons? Love the Simpsons. Okay, I'm going to try to find one that's relatively not that hard because there's literally like hundreds. Um, what's a song, another song of yours that we have not heard that we have to hear? And then if you guys are down, I want to review a couple bands with you and uh, I'll try and stump oh, yeah. you one more time. Uh, what do you reckon, Tez? Maybe Kayla? Or have you played someone? Yeah, he's, we played someone. Yeah, yeah. What about our uh, Let It Go cover? To let if it dare. go. Yeah. Uh, is that is that on? That was funny. Is that on Spotify? Yeah, yeah, mate. Yep. Yeah, it should be, should be. Have a skid around. Should be Let's in see. um somewhere in our disco. Oh my goodness, can't speak. 
Uh, oh, Spotify. I'll go right here. It's really hiding well, isn't it? Got to hunt for this one. Oh, there it is. That was there. Because um, I chat to the guys and I said we're gonna cover Let It Go, and I was ready for so much backlash, and they were like, Yeah, yeah, let's do that. And I was like, Wait, what? Wait, wait, wait the Frozen, the Frozen track. This is you. the Frozen track. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is this is definitely a, a vocal challenging song. I would I would say. Let it go. Let's check it out. I'm going to start off with a relatively easy Simpsons question, I think. Before Let It Go plays, what, who, I'm sorry, regarding The Simpsons, who was the founder of Springfield? Who was the founder of Springfield? Jebediah Springfield. That is correct! Give me a hell yeah! Well done. You've seen an episode or two, I, I take it. It is super solid. Well done on the cover there. Uh, guys, we got time for a couple more questions. I want to ask, um, what what is a, a piece of advice that somebody has gifted you guys in your music career that you're either willing to share with us or what is a mistake you made early on in your career that you tell other bands that are just starting up, don't do this, I did this, and it completely was a terrible idea. What is a piece of advice you could share with us? I, I can... Daniel, have you got something? I've got something. It might be the same thing. You go, man. I... Totally, like, just run with it. So I get, you get kind of excited and worked up and you get really passionate about your ideas and it's hard to, you know, believe that, you know, oh, well, you know, what's the right path? You know, we want everyone to hear this song. Should we record this song? But um, long advice, short, yeah, just everything that you do together as a band and if you share the decisions around and just like run with it it all ends up good anyway as long as you're having fun like mm. i wish i just like just a little tad less serious right in my earlier days that's i think why we're having so much fun these days because we've realized that in lost nights we're just having a ball and just running with it singles covers covering frozen whatever just running with it i love it 100 percent. what you got for me dan uh, we had, uh, we had a sit down once with, uh, Peter Gillies from new empire. And he, he, the best advice he sort of gave us was tell a story, you know what I mean? And, and that sort of, you know, back when we first started, we we're doing a lot of support shows and stuff, which was sick, but we had yet to sort of tell our story, you know, playing sort of headline shows and sort of showing people who we were. And I think that's something that we've really tried to resonate with moving forward and you know we love 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 doing the support shows but it's it's also so much fun having the freedom to do your own headline shows and having your own crowd you know and, and making the show your own too so i think that's something that we've really it's full on putting on your own headline shows and tours and stuff but it, it's a lot of fun if you guys weren't here doing this interview right now what would you be doing i'd still be eating chocolate which is lucky I'm not. <laughs> easter egg chocolate <laughs> <laughs> Where's Jesse today? I like it. Where's Jesse today? He the last I heard he was putting his he's on dad duties at the moment. He's trying to put his son down, so he might just be getting he's being a good dad. That. I love it. He's being a good dad. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Final question of the day, and I'll let you gentlemen go. Uh is there ever a plan to have a feature, like another artist, maybe even outside of rock and roll? Hip hop artist, EDM. Doesn't have to be that, but is there ever plans to have the Lost Nights featuring so and so, but not Val Val Valahora. Is it, I think is what the the band was. Hell yeah! Sorry, I said it wrong. Yeah. I apologize. But have you ever have you ever explored going that route, having like a, maybe another vocal feature on a track, or just in general somebody else on a on a song? Oh yeah, yeah. We we've got some uh, good ideas moving forward. I think so. We'll keep it a bit hush at the moment, but yeah, we are uh, we're loving the ideas. <laughs> Hell yeah, so it's, it's brewing. Something's Rump. brewing over there. Mm. Always, uh, always chewing on something. I like it. Dan, Dan keep, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm the worst at keeping secrets. I, I'm putting on a festival in August, and it's the most work I've ever had to done. I uh, ever, ever had to do. And all I want to do is tell all my friends and people on the stream, like, all this stuff is happening, but I'm not allowed to because I have, like, multiple partners, and it's so f***ing hard. But uh, I'm yeah. not a good secret secret keeper. 
<laughs> Dan and Terry, I appreciate you guys so much for for hanging out with us again. Um, I apologize about the multiple reschedules, but it was definitely well worth the wait. Uh, Thank you so much. Dude, you guys are absolutely awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, Terry and Dan of the Lost Knights! Give me a hell yeah! Tell Jesse we said hello. <laughs> Please let us know when the when the uh, the tour stuff is allowed to be discussed. Please let us know so we can do anything we can to help on our end. But we appreciate you, gentlemen, you so and uh, don't change, man. Keep having fun and just keep being badass. You guys rule. Thank you, thank you so much. We can't wait to come back and talk to you again soon. Definitely, please do, ladies and gentlemen. Carrying down on the last nights. We'll see you guys.